cold out there. Hey guys, before we get started with uh, today's video, I just wanted to let you all know, any of you, any of you people that followed uh, uh, Jason Roberts, BC Newfie, his trapping channel, and if you don't, I suggest you do follow him, uh, his channel got hacked. Uh, I got this information from uh, a, a channel I just recently subscribed to, uh, Timmins Trapper which is another good channel which I suggest you uh, check it out but uh, his uh, Jason Roberts channel got hacked so he's got a new channel the new channel name is BC Newfie period capital B capital C Newfie and uh, so check him out he's uh, lost everything from his old channel and I just thought I'd share that with you to maybe help uh, Jason out because he's a great guy I tell you great guy all right, hope you enjoyed today's video. Hey guys, another nice day up here in the wild north of Netley, I tell you, and it is a chilly one this morning. It is minus 13 on the old thermometer here. Uh, wind chill, they say, is minus 22. But uh, I am on my way out to deer camp for a little bit of a pre-trip. I'm going to check it out, see what's going on there, maybe do a little Christmas shopping. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is stop here at uh, Tim's and get a cup of java and uh, maybe a breakfast sandwich. So yesterday I uh, started making uh, my traditional deer camp soup. So I figured I'd share that with you. So. Why don't you uh, take a look at that now? Uh, actually, I didn't finish it yet. I just did the broth yesterday, so you can take a look at that now. And uh, I'm going to hit the highway. See you at deer camp. Well, it's only two and a half weeks until deer camp, and I sure am looking forward to it, I tell you. I got uh, the old shelter buttoned up, squared away. As a matter of fact, uh, while that Jim was yelling at me across uh, the fence last night and he says, Hey Blur, you're going to burn down that ice shack. <laughs> well, while I Jim, keep your eyes open for one at auction. In case I need one, I'll let you know. Matter of fact, as always, Deer Camp, the yeah, unofficial sponsor is James Todd Auction. Um, that's uh, Wall Eye Jim's company. Check them out on the internet. If you ever need some auction services, he's the guy to call, I tell you. Thanks for the merchandise, my friend. So I was just, uh, woke up this morning and I figured, well, it's a beautiful day. I was going to take a run up to deer camp, but uh, I got lots of snow last night and it wasn't worth driving on um, highways uh, just to go up there and look around, basically. So I decided to refer back to my handy deer camp list. And I got a lot of stuff uh, checked off on it already, but one thing I don't have is my soup. I have all the ingredients for it, but uh, every year I make a traditional homemade soup that we usually eat at lunchtime after the first sit. And it goes down good when it's cold, I tell you. And it's good, soothing, beautiful soup. It just makes you feel good and, and it's almost like a medicine almost. Uh, so I thought I'd share with you guys today on how I actually make this homemade soup. So, Let's go. Oh, the gods are midnight. Hang on. Gotta get midnight. Come on. There you go. There's old midnight. I figured, yeah, like I say, I'm gonna get to share with you guys how to make it step by step. It's quite a lengthy process. It usually takes me two days to do, uh, which it will this time. And the first thing I have to do is, uh, I don't have any pre-made broth, so I gotta make the broth. To make the broth, I need some carcasses. First thing I gotta do is cook up some, roast up some chicken, and then I'll be able to uh, strip the meat off it, that will go back into the soup, and use the carcasses, among other ingredients, which you'll see later, to make the broth. So let's get started. Okay, so I've rinsed off and washed these carcasses, and I'm just basically gonna lay them in the roasting pan. I got uh, a little grate at the bottom and 
uh, some water covering the bottom. Just keep it moist in there. I'm gonna put these the babies in here, squish them in there. I don't put any seasoning on them or anything like that. Just basically jam them in there like that. I've got the oven preheated to 300. I'm gonna throw them in there. Oh, I'm gonna put the lid on. And let them sit there a couple, three hours till the inside temperature is right. And then we're gonna get started on the broth. There's Sniper Bill putting in his driveway. All right, guys, uh, my birds have been in the oven for two and a half hours or so. I'm gonna check the temperature. They should be ready. I can smell it. it. Smells great in here, I tell you. So let's check the temperature and make sure they're ready. We're looking for 82 degrees Celsius. In the middle. And we are sitting at almost 85 so we're good and we're good there and we're way good there so this is ready to roll now we're going to pull these out let them rest oh yeah they are definitely cooked I tell you Now, this beautiful stuff down here, if you remember I put water in the bottom, but this is gonna be right added to my broth for sure. There's lots of flavor in there, I tell you. So we're gonna let this cool down, strip the meat off, and we we'll get started on the broth. All right, so they've been cooling down, probably not enough, so I'll probably burn my hands, but whatever. I'm gonna start ripping the meat off here, putting the bones and the carcass all into the pot. That's gonna be the beginning stages of the broth. Let's get started. Wings I just rip off, throw them in there, it's all flavor. It's all flavor right there. This is where I see a vertebrae gets a lot of flavor out of it. Uh, and also with the neck, these ones don't have the neck, but the neck on the bird is really the flavor. Okay, here you go, my girl. There you go. Good girl. Oh yeah. You like that, huh? I'm gonna fill this up with water. Cold water. Wait a second. You know how people say everything with butter tastes better? Well, I have a different take on that. I say everything with beer tastes better. So let's dump a beer in there. Oh yeah, it's totally optional. Like I say, if I had a point or a, or a Huber, I'd probably use that. Okay, so fill it up. Okay, that's good for now. And then, what we're gonna do, oh, you can't forget to add all of this goodness down here. That's flavor sitting down. That's done, perfect. And then I'm gonna add some uh, vegetables in there, get the mud off it. I guess a little bit of mud won't hurt. A couple of carrots. Get all those nutrients out of there. We're going to take an onion, chop that in half, put that in there, and that is it. So now we're going to put this on the oven or on the stove and let it cook. We're going to let it cook like all for the rest of the night. Okay, so I brought this to a boil and turn it down. And this is what you want, just a little bit of simmering, a slight boil, because you don't want a, a hard boil because then it's gonna evaporate, right? So all we're gonna do is just let this cook for an hour, for a few hours, put all that goodness in there. All that nutrients and good stuff out of the bones, the marrow, <clears throat> it's gonna be good, I tell you. Gonna be good. All right, so now this has been cooking now for some, oh, I don't know, seven or eight hours. That's what you need to do, my friends. That's what you need to do. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna taste it. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Mmm, 
It is good. You want to taste, honey? Nice. Good. Okay. Watch your fingers. You're gonna have to lift your cup. Look at all that goodness. Vitamins. So then we are going to rinse and repeat. Here we go. Okay, so this is my broth. Finished product. We tasted it. It was awesome. So now the thing is we got to let it cool down to... Oh, we want to get as close to room temperature as possible. Probably a couple hours. A couple hours. Cool down. Put it in the fridge. And then tomorrow morning, all the fat will rise to the top and crust on top. We'll cut all that off. It'll be perfect. So tomorrow, this is going to go to sleep tonight. And tomorrow, we're going to finish off this product of my famous Deer Camp Chicken Soup. Oh, oh it smells good, I tell you. I cannot wait. Woo! There is a big buck. Well, I hope you got something out of that uh, broth recipe I do. And like I said, later on today when I get home, I'll uh, finish it off and do the final touches and actually make the soup. I'm up here on my way to deer camp. I'm on the fire road. I decided to come in the uh, north side today just to check it out. I think I've only been down this side once. I think uh, I went with expert guide and Captain Willis. They were uh, grouse hunting. And that's the only time I've been here. The road's been, the fire road has been not too bad. Pretty dicey in some spots, but okay. We've got a good skiff of snow here. Uh, what I can see, there's only been one other vehicle in here ahead of me and one quad. So today is the last day of the last day of uh, primitive hunting, muzzle or bow, and the rifle opens up tomorrow. So probably be a lot of guys chopping at the bit to get out tomorrow with the blaze on and and giver. Saw a nice big buck uh, coming in, a really big buck. I got video on it, it was far away. I zoomed in and I hope it, hope it turned out. But uh, we'll, we'll carry on down the road here and on our way to deer camp. Shouldn't be too much longer. I've been on the road for quite a while now, the fire road that is. And uh, just enjoying the outdoors. Beautiful, beautiful country, I tell you. Saw, saw an eagle back there, as you see. Um, Lots of deer tracks running across, of course, but that's it. Cold, but beautiful. Deer camp. There's been doesn't look like there's been anybody else here so far. Nice and quiet up here, I tell you. I see our burn barrels over there. Good. Looks good. 
looks good. Beauty out here, folks. Okay, I'm gonna get the old 570 off, go do a little touring, and maybe get a little bit of birch to take home for Tilo. She loves that birch, I tell ya. All right, let's get cracking. Right on cue, my Gray Jays here. Wasn't here but three minutes and he's back. <laughs> I meant to bring some bread for him, but I forgot. Maybe you'll have a brownie. We'll try it. All right, so I've got some uh, birch for Timo. Now we're gonna go tooling around. I wanna go uh, check out the river, see what kind of shape the river's in. So basically we gotta go that away, then that away, then that away, then that away to the river, so. Let's go. I had to pull out the rod and try fishing. <laughs> uh, I tried to get over there, but actually, right over there, like right in here, close to shore. But once I stepped over here, it's ice, and I heard it starting to give. So I stayed here on rocks, more safe by myself. So I don't want to take a chance. I'm probably ain't going to catch fish anyway. So it sure is beautiful out here, I tell you. Sure is beauty. Expert guide, you know where this is. I just wanted to show you there is activity of quads in here, human activity in there for sure. I think you know where I am right now.
All right, guys. I got a few more pieces to load up in here. I'm just going to take this home, buck it up at home, bring it back out for my first day of burning so I don't have to do that because I'll be setting up camp and whatnot. Ah. Uh, Nice to see you out here. Nice to be out here, I tell you. But anyways, I gotta get home and finish that soup. So, I'll finish that video off with uh, the finishing of the soup. Keep it all in order. All right, guys, back to work. All right, guys, just got back from deer camp. Got the truck unloaded. And now, rushed in, got everything put away, and I'm gonna finish off this, uh, finish off the deer camp traditional soup. So, because I was running a little late, Tilo took the broth out of the fridge and she skimmed off all the fat, so thank you to her for that. So next up, I have to chop and get all the ingredients ready. I gotta chop up the Chicken, potatoes, celery, carrots, and onion. And then we're gonna throw that all into the broth and then let it, then let it cook. The carrots take a long time, the potatoes take a long time. In go the potatoes. I like putting lots in there. It's kind of starchy and it makes it more thicker, but I, I like that. I like eating the potatoes in the soup. It just makes a mess. I don't want to get in trouble for making a mess when I do this. Next up, carrots. And now the celery. Celery has such a great smell, great flavor too. And now the onion. And then, oh, oh midnight wants some of this. All this beautiful roasted chicken. I like to leave them big chunks because uh, when, when you cook it, it tends to break down. So I like to get a spoonful of a big piece of chicken when you're eating it. Perfect. I'm not sure if we have enough room for my noodles in there, but looking good. Cool. Beauty. So I know midnight enjoyed the, enjoyed the weekend for sure. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching Wild North and Netley. Next up is Deer Camp. And I'll tell you, it's going to be great. Transition from walleyes to whitetail. Thanks for watching again, Wild North and Netley. Hey, Rick girl, Rick girl, look at this.